Hey guys, so we're out in the yard today with our um, bigger chickens and we're going to talk to you a little bit about pecking order. Some of you may have heard that phrase before, but that's actually a real thing in the chicken world. And uh, hey Pepper, Pepper is my little shadow out here. And um, we're going to introduce you to our two older girls out here under the trampoline. Maya, and you don't need to be in here, puppy, out. So under the trampoline over there, we have um, our big Jersey giant. That's Tweeters. Oh, I know Puppy wants to be on the trampoline. Not right now, sweetie. And down there next to Tweeters, we have um, Fluffy. She's an Easter egger. She lays kind of bluish greenish eggs. And they're about almost two years old. They're our original um, chickens. We had three. We had a Buff Orpington Charlotte who unfortunately passed away. Um, over a year ago and she was actually at the um, top of the flock she was the most important hen um, the strongest and biggest chicken will be at the top of the pecking order and their job is to um, warn the other chickens in the flock if there's danger um, they also kind of guide the chickens around to find good food and they're kind of like the most important um, hen, and then there's a second most important and the third most important, etc. And so after Charlotte died, um, Tweeters, our black jersey giant under there, became our our head girl. And at that time, we just had the two of them. There we had um, Tweeters, our big girl, and Fluffy. And then we decided to get a couple new chickens, and one of them was Pepper, who's right here. She's a uh, Rhode Island Red. And we had another one uh, that we got with her because we got them in pairs. Yeah, not Goldie. It was a different chicken. And unfortunately, we introduced them. And you have to be really careful. Um, Pepper was young, not a, ch not a baby chick, but she was, I don't know, maybe four months old with the other chick. And we um, introduced them safely to each other for about a week. And everyone seemed to be getting along. Um, and then we let them sleep together in the coop. And the first night went well. Unfortunately, the second night did not go well. Um, the other chick um, that was with Pepper was actually pecked to death, which happens. They can be aggressive. And we felt really horrible. And poor Pepper was very traumatized. Um, she's kind of got a special place in our hearts because uh, you can see her getting a little nervous. Oh, see, there comes Fluffy. Fluffy is the bully. Um, even though she's not the top of the flock, she, for some reason, is just a little bit more aggressive. Um, she will chase off the other, um, Pepper and Goldie. And we think she was the more aggressive one who did the most, um, physical aggression towards the, the chick that was pecked to death. Um, and she was actually just on chicken timeout over there in her coop. She just kept chasing off the, uh, Goldie and pecking them and really not being nice so we gave her a little bit of a chicken timeout but after that chick passed away um we we took goldie puppy get out of there we took um pepper out there she is eating some grass and uh moved her to a different place in the yard in her own safe space and then we got her a um another flock mate a friend and that's goldie who's um, in her room bonded and um, they uh, we kept them away in their own separate space for several months before we were ready to introduce them to tweeters and fluffy because we were really nervous about how they would get along if everyone would be nice to each other and so over here on the side is where we have um where we have goldie you can see puppy and dogs are not supposed to be here they have hey get out of there and there she is in her nesting box. She's getting ready to lay, hey, pretty girl. Um, and so this is the side of our house where, you know, we are quite frequently. And so these chickens are very comfortable with us. Hey, get out of there. You're not allowed in here. Oh, see there, and tweeters, I really don't want the bigger chickens in here either. This is kind of their safe zone. Oh, and so when we put up oh, there, oh, good job, good job, tweeters, she let, Pepper come through. Pepper is so sweet. Hi, sweetie. 
So this is Pepper. She's like the sweetest chicken. She lets us pick her up and hold her and talk to her. And she gets, um, again, I think she was a little traumatized by watching her friend get uh, injured. And so we kind of, after we took care of her and carried her around a lot, talked to her and she's just the sweetest, uh, she's really the sweetest girl. So what we did was we, um, just recently today, we put Fluffy um, in chicken timeout in her coop because she just was being super aggressive. And what was interesting is that when Fluffy was not in the flock, okay. Tweeters was actually being much more friendly to Goldie and Pepper. So we're not sure if, um, you know, it changes the dynamic. We're not sure if Fluffy's kind of a bad influence. <laughs> She's a bully, but now she's, you know, Tweeters is kind of becoming friends. She's accepted Goldie and Pepper into the flock. She's sweet. Hi, Tweets. Hi. Um, so we'll see. I don't know. Well, we're we're going to hope that Fluffy is going to eventually learn to be a little bit nicer to um, Goldie and Pepper. She might have more <laughs> chicken timeouts if she's not. And anyway, so that's pecking order. Tweeters here, number one. Fluffy thinks she's number two. Goldie is maybe uh, vying for that spot. Pepper, unfortunately, is probably at the bottom of the pecking order. Um, yep, there's Fluffy over there. Um, but she is the sweetest, so it's all good. So that's all for now. Hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>